morning everyone. So this is the start of our Italy vlogs. We're currently, it's like really early, well not that early, it's like 8 o'clock in the morning and we're waiting for our blah blah car. If you guys don't know what that is, it's basically like a ride share. So we are staying in Rouen but we have to get to Beauvais to get to the airport that we're going to. It's like where Ryanair flies out of and everything so we're kind of just waiting in front of this museum and we're waiting for our driver so I just wanted to check in real quick I'll probably vlog a little more once we get to Beauvais or like once we get on the plane or something but yeah that's what that's what's going on I have Lana over here she doesn't want to be in the vlog right now though so I'm gonna respect her privacy <laughs> but I'll see you soon We just got to Italy. <laughs> We're in Pisa right now. There's the crew. Um, yeah, we just dropped our, our bags off at Sarah and Zoe's Airbnb because they'll be staying in Pisa. Um, but me and Lena are leaving later on this evening to Florence. So we figured we might as well just leave our stuff there because it's way too heavy to carry. But right now we're looking, we're gonna be tourists until lunch, until dinner. Um, and we're gonna look for the tower, the leaning tower of Pisa. Ah, how good is it guys? It's so good. Is it good? I'm so excited to eat it. Let's taste this on camera right now. Mm. I want to get you in. Yeah. Mm. We got ice cream on the on camera. Oh my god. Alright. Try it. Show us the flavors. I got chocolate, pistachio, uh -huh. and the oh, this is amazing. Is that one good? Mmm. Really good? Wow. I don't know what that is. Wow. It's so good. It's so good. Oh my god, okay. It's a mm -hmm. Yum. Mm. I'm so happy. <laughs> How's yours? Delicious. How do you say it in? Delicio. Bueno? Delicio. Delicio. Bueno. Uh, no, no. No, that's Spanish. Um, bo bona. Bon no, I don't know. <laughs> We're getting our languages confused. <laughs> bono, I think. Okay, I'm gonna go in. It's so okay. sunny here, but it's so much smaller than I thought it would be. It's so underwhelming. Yeah. There are so many. I don't think it's underwhelming. I mean, it's gorgeous, but it's, really it's a lot cool. smaller than I thought. It doesn't look like it's leaning that much. No, not in the video, but it is It is leaning a lot. You just can't really tell in the video. But it's such a gorgeous day out. Oh my god. So we're on our way to find food, but. We came to this little square. I'm not really sure what it's called, but it's so pretty. Shall we go? Yes. Zoe's a little hungry. I'm the hangry. <laughs> I think we're all getting a little hangry. Food is here. The brie. It's Ooh. like a bunch of cheese. They listed a billion cheeses. Oh my god. They're, they listed a bunch though. I think there's more than four. That looks um, amazing. Perfect. perfect. Oh, this looks amazing. Oh my god. Gelato round two. <laughs> Twice in a day, guys. One in Italy. Yolo. Mm. Which ones did you get? Crema and tiramisu. I got tiramisu as well. Tiramisu she got lemon and raspberry. Mm -hmm. And then what'd you get? I got crema and coffee. Yeah. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, this is La Botteja del Gelato. I don't know if that'll go in there, but if you guys are ever in Pisa, definitely go there. They're very sweet. No pun intended. Okay, so we're officially on the train to Florence. It was a great day. Um, Pisa is absolutely gorgeous, but very small town. Like literally, we walked through the entire thing. I feel like saw all the important stuff, and like we were done with the city. But. I'm really excited for Florence. We have an Airbnb there, so 
I'm probably just gonna end this vlog here and maybe just show you guys the Airbnb tomorrow morning, but show them the one <laughs> show them the, show them the one little room that we have and that we're gonna share, but yeah, it's been a great day. I'm excited for tomorrow. Ooh, this lighting is very nice. But I hope you enjoyed our adventures today and I'll see you in the next clip, which will be tomorrow. Okay. Good morning from Florence, Italy. Look at this gorgeous view. We are currently at our Airbnb in Florence and it's just like so gorgeous here. I can't even like talk to you guys without looking everywhere else. Like just look at this view right now. It's just so freaking gorgeous. Like, oh my God, I'm in love. But yeah, today's gonna be another day of exploration. I'm really excited to travel around Florence and just see what this city has to offer so I'm really excited and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of this vlog adventure so we just finished our photo shoot you guys will see it on Instagram but <laughs> it's just like such a pretty view you can't like not have a photo shoot turn to the side for a sec oh look at that highlight yes, it looks so nice so this is just a brief overview of our Airbnb um, it's kind of dark right now. Our room's kind of messy, so I'm not really gonna show you that. It's literally just a bed, but look at these. Just take in these stairs right now. We're gonna try not to fall on our F faces. Look at that, guys. It's cray cray. So this is the Duomo. Oh, I don't really know what it's called, to be honest, but the detail on this is just unlike anything I've ever seen. Wow. So many tourists, including us. Really hungry though. I want to get some food. Can we get some food? Maybe. <laughs> Possibly. Traumatized. Yeah, let's walk this way. Okay. So we just got done eating lunch, and of course, I got a freaking tomato stain on my boob, but. I said earlier, if there's anywhere to get a tomato stain on your shirt, it might as well be Italy. But that food was so good, that pizza was amazing. I noticed that ours, like if you guys saw, like it was like um, heart-shaped pizzas, and like we're the only ones that got that. Everyone else got circle pizzas, so like I kind of feel special. <laughs> oh my god, this little baby is so cute right now. <laughs> so adorable. But we're walking to the Mercato right now, which is like a little, I don't know, they have one in Ethiopia as well. It's just like an open market and vendors like sell whatever they have to sell. So we're gonna go there, but yeah. Today's pick is lemon and mango, and she just got one solo lemon. Woo! So we're on our way to like, why are you Snapchatting me struggling right now? <laughs> we're on our way to some like really nice view, but to get there, obviously you gotta put in a little work. Just take that in guys. We already walked up this like massively large hill. I'm like dying if you can't tell. <sighs> but look, there's more. <sighs> Make do up for me. I'm already like super out of shape, so this sucks, but then I'm also sick. So my nose is plugged. <sighs> Anyways, I'll see you when I get to the top. It literally never ends. <laughs> Barely. <laughs> How was that, Lena? I enjoyed it. I'd do it again. <laughs> I would not do it again, at least not in these clothes. But damn, this view is nice. I'm just trying to catch my breath before I actually, you know, take it all in because I can't take in anything else. 
right now, but air. I'll show you the view in the next clip. <laughs> got back to our Airbnb and we're currently just sitting on the balcony. Lana's doing some work and just taking in the view. I'm <laughs> I kind of I kind of fail cuz I thought that we'd be able to see the sunset from this angle cuz in the morning it looks like the sun was rising from over there. Sorry if you can hear it's like a motorcycle going by but it looked like the sun was rising from that side, so I was like, oh, we'll be able to see it from like over there, but no, I was wrong because the sun is setting like over there somewhere, but it's fine. It's still like a really nice view and everything, so I can't really complain. But I think we're gonna get some dinner later on. Honestly, I'm still pretty full from that pizza we had early, earlier in the day, but we should definitely eat something and I want to find some good cannolis because I love cannolis and I want like a good authentic Italian one. But if I can't find one, I mean, I'll just go for gelato again. It's now the third day of Italy, and we just got to our Airbnb in Rome. And it's kind of a lot further than I thought it would be from the city center, which kind of sucks, because it's a bit of a walk from the train station, but whatever, we're already here. We're only staying here for one night anyways. We're gonna stay in a hostel tomorrow night because we need to be close to the train station because our flight is so early, um, Monday morning. So it's like at 6 a.m. But um, we're looking for places to eat. Everything usually closes around this sort of time. It's around like 3.30, 3.40. Um, so we're just gonna get something really quick. We're not gonna go to like a sit down restaurant or anything. Um, and then we're probably gonna go back into the city and explore a bit. I'm not really sure. We're just gonna go with it, go with the flow. But yeah, this is a little glimpse of our Airbnb. It's, it's really just like a room and everything, but they gave us like little snacks and like stuff for coffee and tea which was very nice of them on the way here though it was so beautiful like the like we kind of drove because we we took a flex bus from florence all the way to rome so the scenery was like so so amazing like it was just like countryside and little like villas on the top of the mountaintops and everything it was just like so gorgeous just so in love with this country but yeah we're gonna go fill our stomachs right now because we are hungry. This is like the little corridor, not corridor, what's it called? Courtyard, this is the little courtyard of the Airbnb we're staying at. I'll check in a little later, it's just gonna be a lot of walking right now. stressful order of a gelato but looks really good it was gelateria la romana a la dal 1947 pretty cool this bus stop for probably 10 minutes already and we still have another seven minutes to go I don't know why this bus is taking so long we made the mistake of, we, I don't know, we were afraid of like being in a sketchy area um, because when we stayed in Paris, like our hostel was a bit sketchy. So we decided to venture off to an Airbnb and it's kind of far from like the city center, which kind of sucks, but okay, now a bus just kind of like stopped in front of me. So this is really awkward. We have to wait for this damn bus, but it is taking its sweet ass time. I guess I'll, in the meantime, I'll show you my outfit. I'm wearing this bodysuit from Forever 21. This is from eBay. This sort of shawl thing. I don't know if you can hear me. This thing is from Zara. It's like a little trench coat. Belts, I have no idea where it's from. And these pants are from H&M. And then my shoes are from Target. A full body. Put it down. Oh, sorry, you can flip the thing. This is the full ensemble all together. And the bag is Teddy Blake. Yep, that's what we're doing right now. So fast forward two hours later, we finally made it. 
long story short, we got on the wrong side of the bus, like the wrong side of the street. So we took the wrong bus, like we went all the way to some random ass, I don't even know, just, and, and like I was like, oh yeah, this is the last stop. We're like, well, this is not where we have to be. But we just stayed on the bus and came all the way back here. I'm not even kidding, two hours since the last clip, but we are here. Finally, man, what a journey it has been today. It is a little annoying, but I'm trying to stay positive. It is the last day in Italy. Uh, we're in Rome right now, as you guys saw last night. Um, and we're about to go into the Colosseum. And it's right over there. It's like this little pretty park all around. Also, right before this, I had like one of the best cannolis I've ever had in my life. It was so good. I wish I vlogged it, but I just wanted to enjoy it. But oh my God, oh, this is so pretty. So we finally got into the Colosseum. It actually wasn't that long. The girl was trying to tell us it was two hours, but we waited like max 10, 15 minutes. Oh, this is what it looks like though. inside and what we were reading was that this entire area was like flat before like in the pictures that they have like it was flat but then they excavated like the actual floor and they found all of these ruins so I guess like I think there was some sort of fire or something and every all the rubble like went inside and like destroyed it but they dug everything out and you can like see it now which is very very interesting but they don't know what they use this for they have estimates, but, or like guesses, but they're not 100% sure. This is sick. We made it to the top. We are sweating balls. We need water, but it's so beautiful. Eating lunch at a sandwich place, I got a caprese salad. Crazy. And I just added some olive like paste. I really like that. So let's see how it is. Um, I forget the name of the sandwich shop, but it was really really good. Totally recommend it I'll put the name over here if I remember editing Aisha remember to do that But of course we're stopping for gelato again. Basically this entire trip I've been like going on TripAdvisor to look for like good places to eat So I found that on TripAdvisor as well as this gelato place and this actually tastes amazing I feel like every single clip or every other clip is me eating gelato, but this one is really good I got mango and lemon and the mango actually tastes like mango nectar, which I'm so happy about, but 
We are gonna go shopping now because last night we ran into some really, really nice shops, but it was nighttime so we couldn't shop obviously. So we're gonna go find those, do some shopping, and I'll probably check in a little later in the day. We just finished shopping and we came to this like hall area and there's like something going on today. I don't know, some sort of like music festival or something, but it looks pretty cool. I like this song. <laughs> another photo, I don't know. <laughs> trip is the Pantheon. Probably butchering that name, but this man over here is setting the mood. Okay, this man actually sounds amazing. off the vlog getting our last gelato of the trip this is probably we've had gelato like two well I've had gelato two times every single day that I've been here but I ain't complaining about it when in Rome you got to eat gelato slash Italy in general but tomorrow morning we're staying at a hostel actually tonight but we have to wake up at like 3 a.m. sorry about the lighting let's see yeah the lighting's bad everywhere but we have to wake up at like 3 a.m because our flight is at 6 a.m. tomorrow and it's in like Giampino or some other place in Rome, in um, in Italy. So we're gonna do that, but I hope you guys enjoyed these Italy adventures. I had a lot of fun. This is like one of my favorite trips so far. Still have a lot of places to go, but that's it. I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed it. Ciao!